Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to clear specific data objects from the workspace in R. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and in the first example I'm going to show you how to clear one specific data object from the workspace. So in the example I'm going to use the example data object X that we can create here in line 2 of the code. So if you run this code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data object with the name X appears. Now, if we want to remove only this specific data object, then we can apply the RM function, as you can see here in line four of the code. And within the RM function, we simply need to specify the name of the data object that we want to remove. So in this case, we have called our example data object X. So we have to specify X within the RM function. So if you run this line of code, you will see that our data object X is removed from our environment in the RStudio program. So in the next example, I want to show you how to remove multiple data objects from the workspace in R. So first we need to create several data objects with our code. So this is what we can do here with lines seven to nine of the code. And after running these three lines of code, you can see that three new data objects appear at the top right of R Studio, X, Y, and C. And um, if we want to remove all of these data objects, then we can again use the RM function, as you can see here in line 11 of the code. But this time we need to specify all names of, of the data objects that we want to remove. And we need to separate these names with a comma. So if you run line 11 of the code, you will see that at the top right, our three data objects are removed. Yeah, in the third example, I want to show you an alternative to the RM function. And in this example, I'm again going to remove only one specific data object. And uh, we can create this data object with line 14 of the code. So again, we are creating one data object here at the top right in our RStudio workspace. And um, if we want to remove this data object, we can apply the RM function, as I have shown you here in example one of the code in line four. But we can also alternatively use the remove function, as you can see here in line 16 of the code. Yeah, and remove and RM are basically the same. Um, but however, I want to show you that there's an alternative to the RM function. And for that reason, I'm showing you this example here. So if you run line 16 of the code, you will see that similar to example one, our data object X is removed from the workspace. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the removal of data objects in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial on the removal of data objects from the workspace in R. And I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video. Furthermore, I will put all the R programming code that I have used in this video to the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And uh, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications whenever I'm releasing new videos in future. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.